And I just wanted to give uh, West Side Gun a shout out, yo, for that. Uh, and then you pray for me. Got Did you. y'all listen to it yet? I got through like. I think I'm. I don't know where songs. I'm at, but I'm. I'm probably about Eight-ish, at least twelve to thirteen songs yeah. in, or something like that. So I, I got to listen to the whole thing twice because I woke up at like five a.m. this morning, did my workout, I listened to it fully, then I listened to it again, like riding around. Like it's a really good project, really, really good. Like right now, my favorite uh, song is um, Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose is fire, bro. Like, My favorite one probably right now is definitely uh, 1989. You said 1989? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, bet. That's yeah. within like the first. Yeah. I think that's Stove God Cooks. Stove God Cooks. Stove God Cooks. I, I was thinking he would have said that. That second is song. hard as a bitch. Though. Yeah. Stove Mama's Stove Stove Prime Stove Time. Nah. I thought that was, that's the one where he it's said the Bobby Brown line. I don't know the name. It's, it's the, the 1989. 1989 is fire. 1989 for sure. Kitchen Lights is fire too with Stove God Cooks, yo. Yes. I actually like Kitchen Lights too. I made it there. Done. Yeah, I got down to. And oh, I, I was yeah, I was pretty far actually. I was shocked. He got a. Uh, it's called Chloe. Um, <clears throat> it got Todd Dolla Sign, and it's him like trying to like be R and B. I guess for the ladies, but he was egregious. But it's hard, yo. Like it's like yo. <laughs> he was wilding. For me though, like some of it, I get the, I get the. Um, and again, I'm not no Riz RC fashion art. I am RC. Like, I'm nigga. not with that type shit. So some of the offbeat for me is like, all right, some of this is kind of hard to listen to. I had to skip like one or two in the beginning. I'll be listening for the production, like, the samples, the what they say before, after the track. Like, he be having skits where it's like a legit, like... It's not bad, though. Individual from outside. That's what we'll say on the podcast, because I'm not in that realm. You can hear the cars going by with what sounds like yeah. on 695 or some shit like that. Nah, the you one dude that background. called him is like low-key, like a kingpin. Like type it's cool, dude. man. But uh, I get it. I get it. I, I like the um, the overall. You could tell, like, right now. just from, you could tell, like, from a, uh, an artistic standpoint and, and putting things together, it's well put together, it's well thought out. Um, it got a million features. I wasn't expecting that. Um, he he always well since uh, I think it was Fly God is an awesome God or something like that. Like not the Hitler wears Hermes shit, but it was like in between that when he was starting to really bu- bubble, mm-hmm. he had hella features. Like it was like four Stove God joints on there. No, I'm talking about he got everybody. A, he got a million people. I it's like not it. just from what's the name. I like it because um, he knows he's like. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Like he's not uh, from that genre of rap. He's not on my the top of my list. Yeah. I don't. I just don't. I don't love him as a rapper. Like I feel he doesn't. Like... His he he. If you're gonna do the offbeat joint and all the antics and all that other stuff, like you really, really gotta be spitting some hard bars. He's really good. Sometimes, sometimes he's just not that good to me. Like um, out of Griselda, he's the lead, my least favorite in Griselda. Um. Benny's my number. I always rock with Benny. Benny, no, he get in the track, he body yeah. the track, he flows on the track, and he get out. His projects are concise. They're not overly long. He get to the point, and it's very, he's focused on the rapping. Yeah. I, I've like, said this before. I feel like what's name's focused on everything else, so it's a good project as far as like a, because he wants to be one of those art guys. I always know, because I listen yeah, to his, I like nice, his interviews bro. and stuff like that, but like as a rapper, he don't. It's what? when that lane. I got like eight, nine other rappers. I'd rather listen to before yeah. him as a as a rapper. Because so, even on that joint, this with the Benny joint, like Benny goes crazy on that the track he's yeah. on, and then he comes in right after, and he kind of it kind of just. I'm like, but he is, throws it off to me. I'm like, golly, yo, like know what I think? Gun is. I think he's like the, uh, um, the director of the music, if you will. Like no, he I, knows he's he not the main character. He know he can't. He's the, that's not even his point. He just like I want to put the hardest shit out. I, like the production. Well, he says like he doesn't. He has said that. But that that's was a, said, but that yeah. was what I was saying to y'all yeah. earlier. Like most niggas on their album don't let another nigga smoke them. Like Drake could be like, no, I'm gonna rewrite my verse. So when it, he just be like, fuck it, this the hardest song. <laughs> no, it's the hardest song. No, I know, I understand. Yeah, if you that type of rap, but like you feel I listen, me? Like I've listened to more. I enjoy his interviews more than I enjoy like him. Yeah. Rapping. But I think that's what he wants. I don't know if he really. I likes, think he likes that. I think I he think likes he putting might, those and together. And you gotta think know. like that praise of Haiti shit. 
He produced the whole album. He's talented. Or some alchemist type play, shit. Like he's a talented produced dude, it. Yo. Like this nigga is crazy, yo. He's a talented dude. He put all them dudes together. Like you gotta think. For Griselda having Boldy James, Benny the Butcher, Wes, and uh uh Conway the Machine. Uh what's that? Keisha, uh I forget her name, but she's nice as shit too. Like, they really nice, yo. No, they be, they be he curated all that. No, I understand what that he nigga does. is yeah, like yeah, on his. I understand what he does, but like just on the rapping, like it, like Rich, I, it probably was me. Like there were songs where he was just going on it, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I want him skipping. Production wise, I feel like I'm it's one sure. of the one of the best things I've heard like this much. year. Like for me, Dom like, does that to me too. Like the off beat shit is is something you got to be able to do. It's tough to do. Like I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm consistently, a, I can't listen I to it. I don't think he was offbeat that much. He was. He did it quite he a few times. I, 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 I'm big early. on like. I don't think so. so I think on, that hook on Drake shit was more offbeat than. That. I'm big on like the yeah, overall music of stuff. Like so, like that hook was bad though. You yeah. had like you, you, you on the track are an instrument as well, and how you, your voice inflections, how you flow on it. It doesn't have to necessarily always be on a certain type of beat, but like. I'm really big on that, and like him as in his his, his how he performs on the track, he's just not my favorite person. Like mm-hmm. he kind of like I did skip some tracks. I was just like he kind of he throwing me off right now. I feel and especially like, when he go ultra boom bappy and he's off beat, and he don't have my favorite bars. I'm just like I'm skipping this track, yo. Like I I rather I rather not listen to it. Yeah. Like so, but yeah, I mean I like the it. project sounded alright so far. I mean you like it. That's what that's your I team. like it a like, lot. Like for instance, yo. like so I listen to. Well, I listened to that. Well, actually, I didn't finish it. I ain't gonna lie. I turned it up. I listened to the younger dudes. They be listening to a, a dude named Ken Carson. So I actually turned it on. Plus, I kind of like that style of, of rap as well. I like. Um, so I was like, I, I, I listened to some Ken stuff Carson. From Kim, Kim, Ken Carson. The young, the young. They know about him. Like I feel like um, uh, I feel like uh, Tony posted that on his story. Tony. My bad. Uh, I, Never mind. But anyway, I yeah, yeah, but, it, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, yeah. So I checked Coach it out. Pete son, yo. So I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of clicked that off. I was doing some other stuff. I probably, I think I put one of my favorite Drake songs from the new joint on, and I just was repeating it. Then I put that on because I was like, I, I be tapping into with the with the with the young. I be trying. I be listening to a bunch of stuff. So I was like, that joint, I could, I could see why they like it. I like some of the joints on there too. He got like, actually a couple songs in there I kind of like. But then I start. I listened to the uh, the Offset album. Oh, I forgot that. I actually dropped. listen. I, I ain't gonna lie. I it's listen. The album. I thought it was a track. No, no, no. no, no I, I, I listened to the album. I forgot. I'm gonna be honest because you hit me up about the what's the name, and I forgot that both of those came out last night. And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I'm gonna get to. I was like, I'm gonna listen to the West Side, but I was like, I don't. I when I saw it was an hour and fifteen, I was like, I don't feel like being boom bap to death for an hour and fifteen first. So I listened to the. the yeah, Offset it's trap journey. beats now. He had a couple in there. He did, and then he started going ultra boom. And I'm not anti ultra boom bappy. I'm really not. But I like, am. But anyway, but uh, no, no, yo, because it, it doesn't sound bad. Bad, but um, the Offset album just briefly. I'm not gonna go into long detail. It's a really good project. His all growth. Right, I'm gonna tap in. His growth as an individual. I listen artist, to Gunna all them niggas now because his is growth good. as an individual artist, especially like when you get about at the first quarter of the album is cool, but like the la- to me personally, like the last three quarters. His 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 level is he, him spitting now like actually spitting bars is like he be going crazy, and the beats is hard. The features are good. Like that's a really good project. And I know he took some time. You know he had a lot going on in between that album Boy, coming out. Easy drop too. I already know about that ghetto. It's fire. Yeah, I listened to it. It's hard. Check that out. And I respect it because PZ actually. Is oh, he got Ty Dolla on the joint. But you got Pete this though. I didn't even know you came out with a project. P, that must have all been a session that was together because Peasy was on a West Side Guns album. It probably was. Peasy was in uh, one of the later tracks on West Side Guns album. And he or, smoked you know, that bitch. I think we're thinking of sessions in a different way. You know what I mean? It's not, no, I'm talking music sessions. What like, I'm saying is that I don't think they do that all the time. Where they're sitting around in a mu- music session, you think that's happening with everybody? No. Nah, I don't think Peasy, West Side Gun, and Ty Dolla Sign were sitting around in the same place. That Why just wouldn't doesn't they? seem feasible to me. I don't know why. It could happen. I'm why not sure. Because PZ it big enough like now. Those like things like don't happen as much as they used to. Op, they just seem like they But that two million up, just like that all them guys. I got to listen to like, it. I got to listen to the song because you can tell if it's in the room or not. It's fire. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you, you can, can tell. always tell when they. When you they can tell if that motherfucker. You know, I complained about that one joint when uh 
what was that song where Jimmy jumped on there? It just sounded like he was on a phone. And it was so hard, oh, yo. It was on Two Peas in a Pie. Yeah, yo. He was spinning, I was though, like, but yo, it, he it was spinning, but crazy. it sounded yeah. like, yo, you didn't even crazy. do it. She was saying, I'm going to listen and see and make sure. No, no, no. We sure said the verse and buzz was hard. It just was like, yo, they didn't mix this on the yeah. same, yeah. with the same producer, the same quality, the same anything, yo. I'm going to run some of these recent joints, but. I'm definitely looking to that Primo. I think it's October 25th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. time. It's about that time. Yeah, it's about that Jay time. Worthy dropped too, yo. Oh, he dropped another joint? Yeah, it I got, uh, it's, uh, I think it got Iceberg Slim on the cover of it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, it does. Of course. Yeah, it's called The American Dream. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Because his, uh, they... mm. okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Him and, uh, Rock Marciano when they dropped their last joint joint. That's that's one of my favorite parts. I love the boom baby shit, yo. Anything in that yeah. realm is, is for then, me, but yo. Like is, them crazy samples be getting me, yo. Theirs is kind of, theirs is, when they, do, when they, when they completely go off it. on that lane, they, can, they joint be kind of more, they joint be more soul kind of, they kind of like, dip into a slightly different, yeah. when, when they're rapping together. Oh, I've been seeing so. your boy. Um, what's my man, Jordan Bryant? He been doing like some freestyles on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. He them shits is fire, them. nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, I just caught one of them yeah. shits. Like, what was that yesterday or day before yesterday? Yeah. I think it was. Then he hit the uh, Dude, last tank. That joint. Wrong. That shit yeah. was fire. Uh, pop, he smoked that. <laughs> that shit was hard. He yes, smoked sir. that. Yes, sir. I already knew hard, that man. shit was gonna happen. Though. like, I was like, I'm not shocked. This nigga can rap. I'm happy to see that. I like to see people trying to do that. They be killing them. Go crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, man. 